Here we have an F16 model that I've been building in Blender for the past three months. Um, today I just wanted to make a video showcasing the rig that I've built for it as well as some VFX that I've added. To start things off, I have a main bone that I use to move the entire plane. This bone I would just attach to a curve and then create a curve as if it's like a flight path and then the plane will perfectly follow it. So I would mostly just use this bone to adjust rotation. I have another bone set up as like a joystick. So this bone controls uh, the control surfaces of the airplane, similar to a uh, joystick in a real plane. Then we have some landing gear. So that just folds out nicely on its own. Which I think is pretty, pretty sweet and fun to play with. Then we have the throttle. So we're going to pull back. We got brakes. Pushing forward, we get an afterburner. So the texture is attached to this empty right here. As I move it forward, it becomes more visible. And as I move it back, it hides, which is pretty sweet. Then we also have condensation. So regular wind condensation. I think this is what you would see on most fighter jets. And then this one's more specific to the F-16, I think. There's a few other ones that make it, but for sure the F-16. And yeah, that's just set up right in the rig. So it's constantly playing. It just, again, can either be hidden or shown. And it's paired or it's parented to this empty right here. So when you're animating, you can make it more visible or less. So that makes it super easy. Uh, then we have some tweaks. So we have plane or wing shake. So as you can see here, this is pretty strong. You can set this to just kind of move on its own. So as you're animating it, it'll just hop around like this, which is pretty sweet. And I have it on each one of the wings, the back ones as well. We move to. Then we have a canopy that opens up with a really low detail pilot in there because I hope no one looks at that. <laughs> the pilot moves as well. And then if I click this exclamation mark at the top, I can just detach missiles and then they move individually. So that is the rig that I've built. Um, the model itself was fully modeled using Blender. I did use the, or I did use Substance Painter to add the textures because it's easier. And I don't find Blender is super good for textures. So as you can see, it's not super high definition, but from here it looks pretty sick and I think it gets the job done. My computer's not too strong, so any higher resolution and I can't really move this thing around. But it does the job quite well. And I think it looks pretty cool. And I did have questions as well as to if I could remove the fuel tanks. And yes, you can. So there you go. You get the regular F-16. Boom. Block 70. This was my favorite growing up, so I had to. But yeah, it is fully uh, customizable. I can take those off. I can take the fuel tanks off at the bottom. And there you just have a regular F-16. Add it back in, and you have a block 70. So yeah, this is the model that I've been making. I hope it gave you some ideas on what you can do uh, using rigs in Blender. And I hope to see you in the next video.